Lee, you going? Can you go and get drinks? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Right. And we are back between the Yetis with Brittany Seven from RMK Marine. How are you, Brittany? Good, Brittany Severn from RMK Merrill Stevens. That's RMK Merrill Stevens, that's right. We're day three, Miami Boat Show. We're at the Sea Keepers event. And uh, who are you? What are you doing here? And uh, that's pretty much actually all we have uh, So I handle business development and customer service relations for RMK Merrill Stevens, the iconic shipyard that's been around for over 130 years. Right. We are the oldest shipyard in the state of Florida, and we have you are the oldest. The oldest. I'm not the oldest, well, but not, the yard is the oldest shipyard in the state of Florida. We've uh, had a major impact on helping develop Miami. Um, we are looking to restore Miami to the glory that it once was in the marine industry and shipping. Right. So that is my main goal and focus to try to bring the big boats down the river. Absolutely, because. RMK it was out of business for a long, long time, then came back a few years so, ago. Am I so right the dynamic that? of the business is it's actual Merrill Stevens. That's the iconic name and yeah. brand that's been around since 1885. RMK is the new owner uh, based out of Turkey. Okay. RMK is RMK a... RMK design, absolutely. RMK, yeah. Merrick, uh, Romy Coach, I'm sorry. Uh, Romy Coach does not put his name on everything, so he put it in front of Merrill Stevens because it's super special, and he believes that we're going to uh, change the landscape of the Miami River. Absolutely, because Correct me if I'm wrong, most of the work done on boats now is in Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach. So many people in the marine industry know that Fort Lauderdale has become the mecca or the yachting capital of the world. Yeah. Well, there's still a lot of opportunity in Miami, so we're trying to bring the big boats back to Miami. We want a little piece of that. Yeah, because there wasn't really that much for big boats outside of Fort Lauderdale Miami, really. So, so, the, so the issue and the draw is the uh, ability to get to a yard and get to a yard where they can facilitate the work you need. Right. And part of that is hauling the boat out. So a lot of places on the river currently, as today's state is, uh, have many limitations. And the big boats haven't been able to be hauled out in Miami, so they go up to Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach. We're going to change that. Fantastic. And so where are you with the developments of the yard? You put, I heard you put a lot of money into it right so now. So we've got a $30 million refit project happening right now on the north side of our yard. We actually have a split um, a split dynamic to what we do. The river runs through our two pieces of property. Right. We're on the north and the south side of the river. We hug the 12th Avenue Bridge. Right, okay. We are squeezed right in between the Jackson Hospital, the UM Jackson Hospital, and the Miami uh, Marlins Stadium. Right, okay. So we are in a prime location. We're two nautical miles west of the intercoastal from Bayside. Two, that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's we got. Good. We have 17 feet of draft in the river, which okay. is maintained by the Army Corps of Engineers. And what so kind, no of, draft what kind of boat size can you haul now? Uh, currently, our haul-out capabilities are 70 tons. In the next 60 to 90 days, we're going to be increasing that with a brand new ship lift for the south yard. 100 tons, brand new ship lift. And oh. in addition to that, we are 12 to 15 months out of our $30 million refit project happening on the north yard. Right. And that will increase our haul-out capabilities to 2,700 tons. That must be a dry dock then, right? It is not a dry dock. It's a sinker lift. Wow, okay. It's a sinker lift with a railway system. Wow, so okay. So the boat floats on when the lift's in the water. We block it up. Divers go down, block it up, lift it up. No pressure or no, um, no, no, stress, no stress on the hull. Absolutely. Right? No so we bring it in. We have the opportunity. We have over 200 feet available on that lift. And we have over 60 feet in width and 200 feet in length. You're very polished on these numbers. How long have you been there for? Uh, I have been combing through and getting into the ranks and jumping on board for all of 66 days, I think. Okay. So I'm, I'm fresh, I'm new, but I got a great pair of eyes and yeah. clean lenses on what we're doing and where we're going. So where were you before? Have you always been in yachting? In I've marine been in the marine industry about four years. Okay. Uh, my last uh, established place was at Lauderdale Marine Center. Okay. So Very I know cool. shipyards. Uh, I know the model that they have. I know the model that we have and where we're going. And there's a, a big business out there that we can all get a little piece of the pie. Absolutely. So we're pretty excited about that. And I was saying to your boss, Aaron, that, you know, it's, are the yards concerned about competition or do they welcome it because it will attract more boats, there's more opportunities? So I can speak to our yard and what our vision is. And our vision is that we want to partner with everyone. We want to have good relationships with everybody in the industry because at the end of the day, we need favors, they need favors. At the end of the day, it's the marine industry that needs to grow. And yeah, if yeah. the marine industry grows, it's good for everyone. Yeah. It's good business for everyone. 
we want to raise the bar of the quality of work that's being done not only in Miami but in South Florida. And if we do that, we're going to keep the business in the United States, we're going to keep it in South Florida, and everyone benefits. Absolutely. How are you finding the show? Are you seeing some good bits? Because you've got a booth here. Which we have no multiple really locations. Done. Multiple locations. Multiple. So we have a booth located near the third entrance of the Miami Yacht Show. Right there. We've got multiple boats in the water here at the Collins Show. Uh, Newport Custom is one of our boats. We also have some fjords. And then we have two sea lines in the water over at the um, Miami Stadium on Key Biscayne. That you guys refit? Or, uh, like Virginia that. Key. That you yes. Guys, wow, okay. We offer warranty on some of those lines. We refit. Uh, we actually have a new build of a company called Our Cup that's taking place in our water right now. Okay. We're building a self-sufficient houseboat. Okay. Fully self-sustaining, electrical. Came into our yard, uh, started with pieces of a barge. We started putting those pieces together. The structure is now in place. Wow. We've got about six months left of that new build, and we're very excited. Every week, I walk back there and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, there's this, there's that. There's so many things going on." Uh, and we very are cool. making the spec of that. They share our booth over at uh, the Colin Show at yep. the Miami Yacht Show, and uh, we will continue to provide lunch and learns, cocktail hours. We want to get people down to the yard. Absolutely. Remind them of, of Miami's glory, Meryl Stevens' formal glory, yeah, yeah. And, and let people know what we're doing and show them what we're doing. God, you guys are really pushing it, right? We're, I'm, we're giving it the AB punch, the Aaron Brittany punch, the one-two. I like it. I so, see you guys all the events now, which is we, fantastic. We get out there, we, you know, as you saw, we sponsored the YPY Mixer yesterday with yep. Yacht Signs. That was very cool. That was a great event. We had, I, I feel like we had over 100 people walk through that event. Yep, that was, uh, the dot was giving way a little bit. It was because giving it way. Was, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I am boots on the ground hitting the pavement every day, meeting people, introducing myself, letting them know this is what RMK Merrill Stevens is doing. We're here, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. And we've got a lot of exciting things happening right now. Wow. And uh, it's gonna be the premier and prime location to bring mega yachts in the next 12 to 15 months. Good Lord. Wow. So. Well, Brittany, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it, thank and, you. And uh, we'll see you around the show. All right, have a good one. Thanks, have a good one.